shady group. And we learned it from a gentleman by the name of Luther Davis. He was 93 years old when I met him in about 1980 or 81. And we knew we'd gotten to his house because we came around the curve in a little white farmhouse and there was a 1959 Studebaker sitting right out in front of the house. I said to my buddy, I said, I think we've got it. I think this is the house. The whole and, of that's right. And, uh, and then we said, where is it? Where is it? And, uh, and, and he said, thank you, Dave. And I said, there he is, right there. I said, where? He said, right there, standing there on the lawn. And there he was sitting, standing right there in his overalls, just looking out at us. And he was so stock still that I'd never seen him. <laughs> we got out of the car. He never even said hello. We got out, had the fiddles and the banjos in the back front, you know. So we get out, and all he says is, we come around to say hello to him, he says, you boys ain't got no music. <laughs> so we dutifully went around and got the instruments out of the back of the car, and then he was satisfied, and then we started to play. <laughs> Doing for several years, Terry used to go see him. Now, Paul, I believe there's a story of you uh, flying, maybe um, uh, Jimmy Sutton. Was and it? what did Luther have to say about that tune? Oh, yeah. There's the tunes he liked and the tunes he didn't like. It was just this way. He was one of those guys, you get to be 93 years old, you can get to do anything you want, or say anything you want. He'd say, he tried that tune and said, we threw that one out. 